Hello, and welcome to another episode of Wireless Mice. No, Dave2D here, and this is a pile of wireless mice. You know what, I was cleaning my office and I was like, I have a lot of wireless mice, and these are ones that I like. There's a lot of other ones that I've used that I never kept around. These are the ones I like, and I want to do a quick video kind of talking about why I like them, and maybe one of these might be right for you. Okay, these mice are, actually most of them are Bluetooth enabled. I really feel like for laptops, for mobility, uh, you just gotta use a Bluetooth mouse. If you have one of those dongles that plug in, you're doing it wrong. If you're using a wired mouse, unless you're playing games, you're definitely doing it wrong. Pick up a wireless mouse. It's There's some really good ones. Some of them are very inexpensive. All right, we're gonna start off with, not this one, this is not Bluetooth. The rest of them are, okay. This one is a really good wireless mouse, but you need like a receiver, and that's just not really great for laptop users. So screw that thing. That's a Razer something or other. The good ones are here. Okay, first, let's talk about this one, Razer Orokai. This is a pretty unique looking mouse. Like if Batman had a mouse, it would probably be this one. It's got great tracking, but battery life isn't good. And I feel like the shape of it requires a very particular fingertip grip. I like it and it's not too expensive, but I wouldn't recommend it for everyone. The next mouse is, let's go with this one. This is a Bluetooth mouse that is very inexpensive. It's I think $12 on Amazon. There's another version to this that's $10, which uses a dongle, which is actually this one. If you don't have a Bluetooth enabled computer for whatever reason, or if you're comfortable using dongles, you can save $2, but just get the Bluetooth one if you can. It's literally the cheapest mouse that I've used that I enjoy. It's made by a company called JetTech, comfortable to hold, and it can handle a bunch of different grips, and the sensor is surprisingly good. The one thing I dislike about it is the battery. It uses a single AA, but it's a pain in the ass to remove and install it. You gotta pull on the battery super hard to pop it out, but for 12 bucks, I still recommend it. It's a good mouse. Next up is the Apple mouse. This thing sucks. I don't even know why it's in here. I have it. I just, I don't recommend this for anyone. It looks very pretty, but it's a terrible mouse. I think Apple needs to make a better mouse. Next up, we have the MX Master Mice. This is the old one, this is the new one. It's a great mouse, and even though it looks big, it's comfortable to use with small hands. It has a side scroll, lots of buttons, excellent sensor. The new version looks and feels pretty much identical to the old one. It has a couple new features like higher DPI, longer battery life, and this new thing called Logitech Flow. So that's a feature that allows you to use the mouse across multiple computers, like not just the cursor between screens, but you can actually transfer files and stuff between the two computers. Now, when I first used it, I thought it was super cool. It actually feels very magical, but I just never use it. And I'm someone who uses multiple computers every single day. I have two computers on my table all the time running. So I don't know if I'm not using it, I feel like most people wouldn't use that feature. It also has a small version of this thing, the MX Anywhere mouse. So this is the old one, the MX Anywhere 2, and this is the new one, the 2S. Same idea though, awesome sensor, good enough to play shooters casually, long battery life, I like these a lot. And these MX Anywhere mice have this side scroll that the big ones don't. Okay, last two. Microsoft makes a lot of mice, and some of them are terrible, but most of them are pretty good. My two favorite are these two, the Microsoft Surface mouse and the Sculpt Comfort mouse. I like the Surface Mouse a lot. It's super simple, maybe a little too simple for some people, but I love the minimal aesthetic on it. The one thing I dislike about this thing as a travel mouse though, is that the battery cover is magnetically attached. So it pops off pretty easily. It can fall out in your bag if it pops off and that's kind of annoying. The other one is the Sculpt Comfort Mouse. And I gotta be honest, I think this thing looks pretty ugly. It's very comfortable to hold, but it's not a pretty mouse. The Windows button on the side is touch sensitive, so you can scroll up, scroll down. I mean, just adds a lot of functionality and you can press it to launch the Windows button. It's inexpensive and the battery lasts a long time. But my favorite feature about this mouse is actually the horizontal scroll. This is one of the cheapest mice out there with a reliable horizontal scroll that works right out of the box. You don't need drivers, you don't need software, which is really nice. Now, that's not a feature that everyone uses, but if you like video editing or you have big database files or Excel files, horizontal scroll is awesome. These are all really good mice and you can't go wrong choosing any of them. But if I had to pick one as my universal recommendation for laptop users, it would be this one, the MX Anywhere 2. So this is the older one. The 2S is quite a bit more expensive. I think that's like 40% more expensive. This one's so much cheaper and it's exactly the same in terms of user experience. It's supposed to have lower DPI and smaller battery, but I'm charging it just as frequently and the tracking feels exactly the same between the two. And I'm also not using Logitech Flow. So yeah, this mouse is a good choice for a lot of people. Now there's two other things I wanted to bring up. Mouse pads. 
The first one is this travel mouse pad from Razer. It's called the Razer Kabuto. It's basically a really thin sheet of neoprene. It's a cloth surface mouse pad that you can roll up or keep in between the screen of most laptops. It doesn't fit MacBooks though. The tolerance on those are a little bit tighter. For MacBooks, I recommend this thing. It's made by 3M. It's a hard surface with great tracking. The bottom is sticky to give it some grip wherever you want to use it so you can place it behind your laptop or whatever. It's not tape though, it's this micro suction material that you can just rinse every time it gets gunky or anything. But yeah, I've had this for two years and it looks basically brand new. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time. I've linked all of these mice and these mouse pads down below in the description. Okay.